Welcome viewers. In today's video, we will be learning about an amazing arctic bird species the ptarmigan. This medium-sized grouse is found in the frigid arctic and subarctic tundra regions of North America, Europe, and Asia. Types and Habitat There are three main types of ptarmigans. The willow ptarmigan has feathers that are white in winter, helping them blend into the snow, but reddish-brown in summer. Rock ptarmigans, as their name suggests, live among rocky mountain areas. Unlike other ptarmigans, rock ptarmigans don't change into winter plumage, but keep their feathers colored brown and gray all year round for camouflage. The white-tailed ptarmigan is the smallest North American bird and remains entirely white all year, even its tail feathers. The plumage allows it to blend into rocky mountainsides in both winter and summer. Food Habits Ptarmigans have interesting food habits and primarily dine on buds, leaves, seeds, and berries from low-growing shrubs and plants in their cold environments. Their diet consists of willow, birch, and various mountain plants. During winter they supplement their diet by eating frozen berries they had stored away during other seasons. Eggs and Nesting Ptarmigans spend most of their lives on the ground which also means they nest there. Females will lay about six eggs in nests they create in shallow depressions of soil and dead plant material. Males are very protective of their mates while they incubate the eggs over a period of three weeks or so. Newly hatched chicks follow their mothers until they mature enough to live independently. So in summary, through evolutionary adaptations like seasonal color-changing feathers, furry feet, and varied food sources, ptarmigans have found remarkable ways to thrive in challenging alpine environments that are covered in heavy snow for over half the year. Their unique survival skills certainly make them a fascinating bird species to admire. I hope you enjoyed learning about the incredible ptarmigan. Let me know in the comments what cool bird you would like me to cover next.